Okay guys, so yesterday I failed to complete the slam. Uh, the fishing got real tough once the sun was out. Um, we had a few clouds. Um, today is gonna be a lot better. It's still a hot one. It's still 95, 96 degrees outside. We got some cloud cover though. It's not gonna be as windy today, so we can get those baits out. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the spider wire sling bag that I just bought yesterday at Dick's. Um, I didn't do an unbagging on it because I that was the only thing I bought. Um, today I'm going to take test it out, see how it works, uh, get a review on it. So today will kind of be a use and review type day. Um, I'll let you know how it works. All right, guys, I've already found one downside of this bag. Uh, it doesn't have a water bottle holder. So I gotta carry my Nalgene around with me. Today I'm gonna be fishing with the Live Target Bait Ball Shad Crankbait. Thing dives from three to four feet. Um, It's a half ounce, it's got a rattle. Yes. Oh, dang it. Holy. This thing is huge. Look at that mouth. Woo! All right, let's get him back in the water. Wow, what a fight. That was on the Livingston bait ball shed
Here we are, fish number two. Little half pounder. Not a bad looking fish. All right, guys, here's the spider wire sling bag. Uh, I picked it up at Dick's yesterday for $35. Um, so uh, let's get into the bag. You got two pockets here. I keep my live line in there. You got one pocket right there. And then on the other side, it goes behind the first, this left side pocket. I just keep one of my rig, I keep my rigs in there. Next pocket, it's a pretty big pocket. I uh, keep all my soft plastics in there. I got my worms and trailers back here. And then I got my other ones right there. And then in here, I've got my terminal tackle box. Pretty simple. I got two aught, three aught, four aught, five aught. That's going for four aught worm, five aught worm. Just some hooks that I got with the uh, lucky tackle box, a shaky head, swim bay head. Uh, I've already shown you all most of this stuff. Now in here, it's got a bunch of little slots and stuff to put stuff. I've got my multi-tool and a bait that's unopened. It's got a sunglass pocket. I'm obviously wearing mine at the moment. And then your big pocket right here. This is where I keep all my baits. I've got uh, crankbaits up here and a swim bait. I've got like my rooster tails and small little panfish baits. I've got a spoon and a hair jig, got some poppers over here, poppers, and then I got my jigs, I got three new techs, one in uh, black and blue, green pumpkin, and uh, craw color, And then I got the jig from the mystery tackle box, the Buckeye Lure flat top jig. Uh, this is a Booyah pad crasher. And I got some topwater baits. Uh, I forget what these are called. They're the XP, the Bass Pro Shop series. And then I have this little guy. He's a little jitter, jitterbug, but in uh Uh, cicada color. I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. And over here, I got my jerk baits, all Rapalas. I got a crawfish bait for when I go smallmouth fishing. And then I got some more inline spinners and a chatterbait. This bait's good. Supposedly you can fit two medium size 3700 boxes back there. Uh, I have a hard time believing that. But that's what it said on the bot or on the little tag, so. That's that. Uh, it's about to storm. I'm gonna finish up fishing and yeah, see you on a bit. All right guys, I just got home. Um, I caught a few more fish after my camera died. Uh, I'll add a photo or two. I only caught one bigger one and then I caught one at the very, right as I was leaving. I'll post, a, or I'll put a picture at the end of this with the bigger one. 
on this video I'm also going to have the creek fishing I did the other day with my good friend Jake. I only caught one bat or one fish. I caught a freshwater drum. I'll put that on there. Um, also, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm.